There's nothing more painful than putting your heart and soul into your design work just to have your clients say, well, I don't think it's good enough or I don't really like it. How do you deal with that? Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another segment of Wins and Fail. Last week was a super intensive week for me. I had to finalize a design and develop a website for my client that had to go, go live before the end of the week. So it was really, really intensive. I had to put a lot of effort into it, worked really, really hard, and I'm super, super happy with the result that I got. By the way, a case study on this project is coming on later this week, so watch out. It's gonna be really amazing. But here's what really happened during the week. So while I was developing the website in Webflow, my clients had kind of, they had a board meeting during which they wanted to present the website even though it wasn't really finished. And so I sent them kind of a, I've published it and I sent them a link so they can see the work in progress, maybe get some feedback while the design is still, I'm still working on it. So I sent them the link, I told them, look, it's not over, this, this, and this are not ready yet but at least it's something. And I, I felt that even at that stage, it was pretty impressive and it, it looked pretty good and you can understand where this is going. So even if the final interactions and all the tiny details were not there, I thought it was pretty good. So I sent them over and, and got back into working on, you know, grinding into finalizing the website. And then I got the feedback, sent them the link really late at night. And in the morning, got the feedback. Well, just before we went into the board meeting, we don't think that it's it's really good enough. We're not really impressed. And so we don't, we're probably not going to show it at the board meeting. And that feedback actually kind of crushed my soul. And it was really painful because I was like putting so much effort into it. And I was still had a lot to do just to finish what I promised. And so I had to go back into just you know, before dealing with the feedback that they had, even before fixing or trying to improve things, I still had, you know, the stuff that I promised, the original design, which they approved, by the way, and I had to go do it, but my motivation was so low from getting that feedback that it was really, really tough to get back into work and, and focus and finish what I promised them. So overall, let's skip to the end of the week where the website was published, got they got really good feedback, I got really good feedback and everybody's happy now. And try to think about what dealing with this negative feedback meant to me. So it was the way that I see it now, you know, a couple of weeks later, I had the weekend to relax. And the last week was really, really painful. But in a sense, I think it's a little bit like going to the gym, you know? So I, it was really, really hard and painful and I did not actually enjoy it. But now that it's over and I can see the result, I'm actually happy because I think that working that hard in even in getting the feedback, which was not, it was not fun to hear and it was not a good timing to hear because I was crunched for time <clears throat> in any case, but to be honest, at the end of the week, looking back at what was accomplished, I think that that feedback helped me push harder, helped me make the website better. If some of that was actually legit feedback that helped me improve the, the, the work itself. And so looking at it right now, again, like going to the gym, I didn't enjoy doing it, but I feel like the end result, now I'm stronger and now the design is better. And so at the end of the day, it was a good thing that I got this feedback. Now. You know, I'm looking back at my career and at, I would say that when I was a younger designer, I would really be terrified of getting negative feedback. I would try to justify, you know, why I did things this way and I would would not want to listen. It, of course, if immediately what I'm thinking, if, if I'm going to do what you're telling me to do, it's gonna take me more time, I don't have the time, it's adding more stress. And so I would really try to avoid this negative feedback. But I think at this point, I know that, first of all, it's super, super important to listen to that feedback. A lot of the times, clients really know what they're talking about in terms of, you know, it's their business, it's their audience, it's, it, they have to live with this solution that you're giving them right now. And so what they're saying, even if they can't articulate it well, a lot of times it has value. And if you're so caught up in like trying to argue and trying to protect yourself from doing extra work, you're sometimes missing an opportunity to make the project that much better. And so at this point, what I'm trying to say is that I feel like understanding that dealing with this kind of a pain and pain of negative feedback, which to be honest, 
happens in almost every project. It's something that's inherent to the project. You're putting something out there that somebody never saw or seen for the first time. They might not like it 100% the first time. They might have things that are not working for them. So they're going to give you feedback and that feedback might be painful, but it is necessary for you to listen to that feedback and adapt if you want the work to be much, much higher. And so at this point, I have to say that even though weeks like last week are emotionally <laughs> terrible because I was very stressed, really depressed and stuff like that, at the long long term, I think that they are necessary in order to do good job. And so going back to the gym metaphor, I don't personally enjoy doing workouts, but I do think that when I finish it, I'm healthier, I'm stronger, and I'm happy that I did it even though I did not enjoy the process. And so I think that if you think about negative feedback, getting negative feedback from your clients, in that sense, it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make the work better. It's going to help you go through it. It's still not going to be fun. There's no fun way to, to go through, you know, crushing feedback or even, even if it's well said, you're just so involved and engaged in what you did and you think it's wonderful. And I honestly think this is one of the best work that I ever did. So hearing that it's not perfect yet was painful, but I do acknowledge right now that it did help make the work better. So don't run away from the pain of negative feedback. Try to embrace, know that it's painful, but be there, try to be focused and still listen and improve your work so you can do an amazing work. Hope this was valuable. I'll catch you on the next video.